Hello, my name is Brendan. This here is my colleague Neville, and uh, we're going to give our demonstration on our third year mechatronics project called an ASRS. ASRS system. The ARS, ASRS system is basically an automated storage and retrieval system. As you can see over beyond, you have a robotic arm. We have 12 bins placed on a carousel. Uh, what this system basically does is it collects the, the, the 12 bins in a demo mode and places three bins on the, on the table. It then takes the three bins and puts them back in the exact positions that they came from. There's also an additional manual mode which allows you to select any one of the 12 bins, take it off of the carousel, put it down, and the robot will wait until you tell it to store the bin. It then collects the bin and stores it. I'm going to let Brendan run you through the demo version very quickly. When we switch on to ASRS, we're looking at um, a home screen. On the home screen, we have a demo and a manual button. Um, as Neville suggested earlier, both of them are separate functions. We're going to start off using the demo function. So press demo and it's bringing me to a new screen. On the, on the screen you can see uh, feedback in the form of servers running which means that the, ser the robot is ready to ro run. We have an emergency stop function which if anything happens to go wrong we can use that as an emergency stop button. Um, down here we have main page which brings us back to the main page. And over here we have the demo. So if I select demo and press start, we now have the demonstration function working. What you're looking at is, is the, the robotic arm collecting three individual bins. It picks them up, takes them over drops them down in their positions, you'll notice that before it reaches this position, its final position, it slows down to a very slow progression before it stops. It then comes out very slowly to avoid crashes and then speeds up again. Now it will go to the next position. It will go in. Above the bin, it will drop down over the bin, nice and slow to its position to avoid crashes. It will then close the hand, raise the bin, extract it. Now at this point now the robotic arm has sent a, a, a signal to the, to the PLC and the carousel to indicate that it is clear from the carousel and that the carousel is free to turn. Now once again raises up above. Once it's clear goes off. Now the robotic arm is waiting in position until the carousel has sent the signal to say all clear to go on its entry. When it's received that then it actually progresses into the carousel. It will not move until the carousel has confirmed that it is in the correct position. Now the third bin is on the far end of the table. She goes down, slows down, drops the bin down in position, opens the hand, raises up slowly, and once she's clear, she speeds up. At this point, the robot, the, the demo program, waits for five seconds before it continues to store the bins back into their original locations. So slow down again just before destination. stores the, back, the bin back in the exact same location. Now you'll notice when the robotic arm comes out of the carousel, the carousel will start to move. Aligning the selected drop-off position in the window, the drop-off window.
And there we have it, the last bin is in position. Robot hand opens, rises above the bin, and retracts to the home position. And that is the end of the demo. Now, when the demonstration has come to an end, we're going to go back to the main screen and go to manual. Here we're looking at a, a keypad configuration with 1 to 12. Each number corresponds to the, to the containers on the carousel. Um, also on the screen we have feedback. Again, the servers are running. An e-stop again. We have a retrieve function and we have the status. Um, we're going to select bin number 1. Press retrieve and then start. Carousel is now turning until container number one is in front of the robot. Feedback on the HMI is also giving us um, the status of the the ASRS which is telling us it's now in the retrieve function. So bin 1 is now in front of the carousel and it is now picking it up. After the container has been dropped on the table, the robot will now go to a position above the, the container and wait until further instructions. As you can see now on the HMI, um, the store button has, has appeared and the status has changed telling us to press store when we're finished with the container. So if I press store, the robot is now storing the container back into the carousel. This container always goes back into the same position on the carousel as it, as it originated. The robot is now back in a home position waiting for further command and the HMI is returned back to its previous status but the store button has disappeared and is waiting for further instructions.